WUSA 9 Weather Watch is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. Good Monday afternoon, I'm meteorologist Caitlin McGrath. We are continuing to watch a few showers and downpours roll through. Our risk for severe weather is really waning, though. The Storm Prediction Center does have areas generally east and along the 95 corridor. Metro DC highlighted there in green as a low risk for severe weather. Slightly better chance for some storms over toward the eastern shore and the Del Marva, with the biggest uh, risk being a strong wind gust or two. But the ingredients for severe weather really not there today. We had clouds roll into too quickly that really limited our daytime heating and the amount of instability in the atmosphere. But I do think for areas east of the bay, that's where we have the best chance of seeing a few stronger storms throughout the afternoon. They still look very isolated and not too punchy with the biggest concern being some damaging wind, maybe some small hail, thunder and lightning. So here we are right around two o'clock and keep in mind Futurecast just one particular computer model doesn't pinpoint exactly where it's going to rain and when, but you get the idea that a lot of folks just dealing with nuisance rain as we head throughout the afternoon. A few pockets of heavier, steadier rain. That's what you see highlighted there in yellow and orange. An isolated thunderstorm not out of the question, but I really think just about everything in the D.C. area stays sub severe along the 95 quarter back into Baltimore. You could see a stronger storm as well down into southern Maryland, but a lot of folks will just be dealing with scattered showers and maybe a few downpours as we head throughout Monday afternoon. This is 6 p.m. We already start to clear out most of the activity. If you're heading home from work a little bit later, maybe you're getting home for from work and want to go for a walk. I think we'll still have a few scattered showers, but any last rain and clouds will clear throughout the evening. This is 8 p.m. We're just about in the clear with the exception of the northern next southern Maryland. You might see a few lingering showers, but everyone is uh, in the clear at 11 o'clock tonight as you're checking in with toppers. Clouds will be clearing pretty quickly as well. That will lead us into a very nice Tuesday forecast. And when all is said and done, unfortunately, we're not talking about a very beneficial rain. One of our more bullish computer models does have about a half an inch by the time we get to this evening, but most of our computer models say maybe a couple tenths of an inch, maybe a quarter inch of rain where we see some of those heavier downpours and maybe a thunderstorm set up. We could pick up a quick quarter to a half an inch of rain, but not a big rainmaker that really limits, of course, the flood risk as well. And we really could use the rain. We could use more than we're getting today. In fact, most of our areas still experiencing those moderate drought conditions. That's everywhere you see shaded there in tan. That, of course, did expand last week. This only updates every Thursday, and I don't think we'll see a whole lot of change this week, given the few sh rain chances we have over the next several days. But everyone now considered abnormally dry as well. So throughout your Monday forecast, temperatures will stay a little cooler than initially forecast. We stay in the mid to low 50s this afternoon and with dew points in the mid 60s feels a little sticky as you're stepping outside. I do think if you want to get outside after work tonight, though, we will see improving conditions starts to feel a little bit more comfortable once these showers roll through as well with dew points falling off. Temperatures will eventually dip back into the 50s and 60s overnight. Starting the day on Tuesday, right around 61 degrees in DC mid to upper 50s for Leesburg, back into Frederick, 52 in Manassas, 52 in Culpeper, a little bit more comfortable tomorrow morning without the humidity as well. Down into parts of Southern Maryland, the Tungsit River, you start the day at 62 degrees. And with more sunshine, we should make it back into the low 80s. That's what we were initially forecasting for today, but with those clouds rolling in, just didn't have time to heat up. But tomorrow we should get there for just about everyone. Slightly cooler along the I-81 corridor with temperatures in the upper 70s for Hagerstown and down into Martinsburg. Nice and dry for Tuesday. No issues with rain. Wednesday, we do have a few light scattered showers in the forecast. Nothing like the rain and a few thunderstorms we're dealing with today. Next chance for rain beyond that. Maybe Friday, maybe an isolated storm, but looks mostly dry Thursday, Friday and Saturday with more storms possible as we head into next weekend by Sunday, but still just about a week away. So we will fine tune the forecast as we get closer to it. But Wednesday an early look ahead at what you can expect. This is seven o'clock. No issues for the morning commute, a blend of sunshine and clouds. And then all we try and see on Wednesday are a few light scattered showers, most of which will occur during the workday, so after about 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, clearing out by the afternoon, this is 12 p.m. Wouldn't cancel any lunch plans you may have outside. Light scattered showers will continue as we head into the afternoon. This is 3 p.m. and clear out as we head throughout Wednesday evening. So a look at the seven day forecast. Really not too shabby this week once we get past our showers and maybe a few thunderstorms. We have issued a weather watch alert, really more of a nuisance event. Could cancel some plans, especially early afternoon before the last of the rain clears out of here, but the evening looking much nicer. Wednesday, we'll watch for those few scattered showers. Then we start to heat things up toward the end of the week. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s Thursday into Friday. Nats back at home on Friday as well. And of course, we'll keep a close eye on those rain chances for next Sunday.